Hi and welcome back to my channel for a new whimsical girl portrait. I shared one of them last week and I enjoyed this so much that I thought I will share another one. I'm working in the Arteza A5 watercolor book. It's a spiral bound book and you can use it to tear out the pages or you can just use it as an art journal as I do it. And what I really like about that, it's very easy to pull out a page if you don't like the result. I'm working with the Rosa Gallery watercolors and I have made my sketch with a watercolor pencil. So the lines that I have made disappear during the painting process. I'm working with a reference photo that I found on Pinterest when I searched for Rococo girls. I really enjoy the style with these big curly wigs. It was a normal portrait, I would call it, and I transformed it into a more whimsical face. For that I just uh, sketched the nose much smaller and the eyes far apart. And also the head is more round and not like an oval. I am very inspired by Jane Davenport and Mindy Lacefield recently and I am having so much fun painting these cute girls. I really like to combine them with watercolor florals. I am watching some Skillshare classes at the moment and I will link the one that I watched before I painted this video in my description box. It's a very, very good video and I have not an idea how her name is, but I know that she is my little Basil studio on Instagram and she makes wonderful watercolor floral paintings and her video on Skillshare is excellent. It's very detailed and it's perfect when you want to learn to how to paint watercolor florals. My video is speed up to half of the original time and I just want to mention it as I did it with my last portrait painting video because when you see someone painting so fast and then you start painting yourself it might happen that you also uh, start painting in a really fast way and this is not necessary of course and it's much easier to uh, draw with a normal speed. So just keep that in mind that this is a speed up video. I have no idea which colors I want to use for her hair, so I just paint the colors I already have to the other side of my spread and add uh, some test colors so I can decide with which hair color I want to go.
When my watercolors are completely dry, I go in with some tweetone colored pencils and these are from Koinwa and they are called Magicals. I found them on Amazon and I think they are so cool because you get three colors in one pen and it always alternates which color you will get on your page. So this is really interesting. I'm using an Uniposca marker to create some highlights.
I don't want to have my background completely blank so I added some light color spots to it and I just give the lady a quick dress. This was my video for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Please leave me a comment and I hope you see us next time. Bye!